Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to color everyday items like these. It's a super easy tutorial so I hope you all enjoy it. For today's tutorial, I will be using the Sublime Watercolor Pack and the Vintage Canvas. Everything will be linked below. I've drawn a very basic sketch for you guys so you can download it and insert it like this. Go to add and insert a photo. Here is the sketch. Now let's go to the layers panel and make a new layer on top so that we can start to color. I've also developed a color palette that you can use for the shoes and the hat. And we're going to be using the hard edge round brush for the majority of this tutorial. And I will show you how to color the shoes and you can apply the same method to the hat. Now, on this layer, we're going to select this light pink. Make sure we have the right brush and start to color each component separately. So by each component, I mean all of the segments that are separated by the pencil marks. So this top of the shoes, I will try to color it separately from the other parts like the ribbon and the outer edges of the shoe. And it's best to color it in one go. Um, if you have to let go of your Apple Pencil, that's totally fine, but you will have to blend it out with uh, a blender. As you can see, I'm trying my best to color it in one go just to avoid that blending part, but I think I will have to let go at this point. So let's fill it all in. Now let's get our basic blender right here and blend out that overlap. We need to smooth it out so that it looks like we've colored it in one go. Make sure you do not blend outside of the pencil lines. And now I'm coloring the ribbon on a separate layer. It's best to separate layers for different components because we're going to be using um, stamps later on. As you can see, I've separated all my layers like this. And so you just need to create a new layer whenever you're starting to color a new segment. Again, let's create a new layer for the inside portion of the shoe. So we'll have to go to the layers panel, make a new layer and select a color. I'm going to choose this beigey color. You can choose whatever color you like. And once you're done that, we have to go back to this inside layer, make a new layer on top and make it a clipping mask. And I'm going to select one of these browns and I'm going to use bloom number one. And you can just stamp it along the top where you would think that there will be a shadow because of the top of the shoe and the sides as well. I'm just going to stamp along the bottom and the sides. And you can of course use different shades of brown. Some sides will be a lot more darker. So for example, the top of the shoe, the inside of the shoe, it will be a little bit more darker. So I'm using a darker brown here. You can really play around with this and just explore and see if it looks good or if you wanna add more darkness to some areas, that's really up to you. And you can also use the basic blender to move the paint around like this. That looks pretty good, so let's go to another layer. So maybe select the outer edge of the shoe and then make a new layer on top and make that a clipping mask so we can start to stamp on that layer. And again, bloom number one. And just like before, I'm just using a darker pink and just stamping along the edges. Obviously, you can use a different variety of pinks. 
and you can try to concentrate on areas that will have more shadows. And you might want to create these clipping mask layers on all of the layers that we created and use stamps to just kind of enhance the artwork. And once you're happy with the shoe, you can just merge all of the layers like this just into one layer. So I'm just going to merge down. There's that one layer, layer 14, and we're going to duplicate this layer now. And once it's duplicated, we'll want to go to this top button here, as you can see, and you'll want to move that layer to the side and flip horizontally. After you flip it, you will want to make it fit inside our pencil sketch. So you might want to adjust the angle to make it fit. So I'm just going to play around with that until it's perfectly fit into that mold. Okay, so it's fitting into that now. Let's grab an eraser and try to erase some of the areas that look a little bit odd from this side. So making sure that we're on the right layer. And I just grabbed an eraser and you'll just want to erase some of these areas that may need to be edited. So after you erase it, you'll want to make a new layer and just select any of the colors that we used using the hard edge round brush just fill it in and blend it out again so that it looks natural i'm using a tiny blender to blend out this small area you might want to add a bit more to this shoe just to differentiate this one from the other one we don't really want everyone to find out that we just made a copy of that side so I am now adding a bit more color, blending that out and perhaps I'll add a bit more on the inner side so adding some stamps perhaps. Just trying to see how it looks like overall. As you can see I've colored the hat already using the exact same method that I showed earlier. It looks really similar right now, so I'm just going to add a few more stamps just to make it a little bit different. That is way too obvious, so we need to select a color that is more subtle. Still a little bit noticeable. That is basically the method for this tutorial. Uh, coloring the base layer first and then using the Bloom number no. 1 stamp to enhance and add watermarks. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and will be able to apply it to different items like the hat for example. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.